Imagine you finally take action on those self-help videos that you've been watching on YouTube. You start meditating and journaling and going to the gym and you finally start to see some progress in your physique. You're getting more and more confident and that's when Jeffrey pops up to you. He says that you should stop. It's cringy, it's weird, you've changed. Why do you think Jeffrey would be upset that you've changed? Could it be that it makes him feel worse for his complacency? Whereas the best man around, Adonis, will encourage you to go forward. What a noble pursuit it is to improve yourself so that you can take on the responsibility of caring for your loved ones. I got an interesting message on Instagram. I'm gonna read it out to you. Uh, I won't say the guy's name, but I'll read what he said. It's like a um, request message, you know, like I don't follow him or anything. Fuck self-improvements. It made it worse. I've been hitting the gym for six months now. I went from the skinniest out of my school to the most shredded and I'm not happy. I've just become more arrogant and lost friends no and no one really likes me. The girls that loved me when I was skinny are gone now. Now. I'm by myself, but I will continue. I fell in love with the gym. I read this message today. I went through like some of my message requests and I screenshotted it because I knew that I'd make a video about this and I would make this video for this young man or anyone watching this, like you who has gotten onto self-improvement, you've taken some of this advice and you may have seen some negatives to your life because of this, because that's not what we want. Self-improvement, especially the way that Donis wants us to do, the holistic self-improvement. We improve everything, our mental health, our physical health. We try and build an aesthetic body that makes us feel proud of ourselves and requires discipline, which then grows us into being more like men. I think it's a beautiful thing and you probably do too. But for this guy specifically, saying that he's went to the gym for six months, he went from being the skinniest to the most shredded, which is like, it's awesome. So he's in school, so he's probably like really young. So I'm gonna assume, let's say he's like, what would you say, like 14 years old. And his texting and no offense to the guy, but his texting and his spelling and like lack of like pronunciation and like, full stops and stuff. Make, it makes me think he's like 14, but no offense, no offense. And he says, he's not happy. He's just become more arrogant and he's lost friends. No one likes him. And th I think this is where we want to start with because the real way to do self-improvement is not just to pick one pillar and then just do that one. So it seems like this guy, this young man, has just done like the, the weightlifting, you know, build the body pillar of self-improvement, which is fantastic. That like, To start, let's say he's 14, 15, 16, to start training. Imagine this, bro. Imagine you could go back to being 14 years old and start your aesthetic physique journey, like start weightlifting or calisthenics then. That's so good for this guy. If you're watching this, I won't say your name, bro, but if you're watching this, you know if you've sent me this message. Like, I'm proud of you. We are all proud of you. We all wish we could go back to your age and start then. A lot of young people will hear this and you won't really be able to find the value of what I've just said. Like, you know, all, all me and like the older guys wish we could be your age and start at that point. But like, that's a huge compliment because we were all stupid as fuck. You know, we're older than you. We were all stupid as fuck when we were 14, bro. We didn't think about like getting shredded or anything. That's awesome. But then you've said it yourself. You became arrogant. So you've made some great progress. You've been, you know, kind of down there. You said you were the skinniest guy. So when you've been low in the social hierarchy and you start climbing upwards, so you started low generally because of like genetics and sort of poor upbringing. You didn't really get to socialize properly. And then you climb up the social ladder. It is incredibly easy to be arrogant. And in fact, the only people, when you really think about it, really the only people who are ever kind of arrogant or cocky or egotistical are those that have grown from the bottom towards the top. Because the people who naturally started near the top, let's say in high school, they were really popular, they were really attractive genetically, they were really tall, they had it all going for them naturally. They wouldn't need to be arrogant, would they? Because they've that's what they're used to. But whereas the guy who started near the bottom and climbed up, it's so easy. And honestly, it's relatively normal to feel that level of arrogance, especially, honestly, especially for me. I am an incredibly egotistical, arrogant, cocky, confident guy. I try to, you know, keep that on the downplay. Of course, like sometimes it comes out into these videos and sometimes it comes out into my personality, but I try and tone it down. I try my best to like stay vigilant for it. Why do you think I'm so arrogant and so full of myself, so egotistical? Do you think I had those personality traits? Seven, 10 years years ago when I was down, down there in the social hierarchy. No, of course not. I had nothing to be arrogant about. But when you've experienced like the depths of depression, when you've been down there, when you've been totally like ignored by the girls in your class, when you've been like that little like weird nerd who plays RuneScape and now like you've got a successful business, you've got the body, like it's natural to have the inclination to be arrogant. But this is where the better parts of self-improvement come from. Because you see, self-improvement is not just tied to like, oh, like, you know, like, oh, make money and get the body. That's where like, a lot of these YouTubers who I don't trust, like you'll see them online. That's what they, that's only the thing that they talk 
talk about is like money and the body. Money and the body. They don't ever talk about like character traits like discipline. They don't ever tell you to do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. But that's like the most important part, especially for young men, is discipline, it's willpower, it's presence and gratitude. There's so much more. And like one of the things I preach so much is to get into reading. Read some good books, even if you're young, even if you struggle to read, you know, sometimes you want to read and like you can't pay attention. Reading is kind of like a skill. And so right now you are quite low level in the skill. You haven't gained enough experience, you know, XP, like, you know, like you get XP. What's that shit called? XP drops or XP boosts or whatever the fuck. You haven't gotten enough XP in your reading skill. So you can't even read like more than a page without getting frustrated. But the more you simply just practice reading, the more that you can read. And when you can read and you start reading some really good books, for example, Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday, you won't have this personality anymore, or at least you'll be a lot more vigilant of it. Because this young man has said, okay, he's made great progress. He's feeling, you know, like he's the most shredded. He's made so much progress. And then he got arrogant and now his friends don't like him and the girls don't like him. And I'm not going to speak to you like you're a little bitch. I agree with them. They shouldn't like you. You know, it's so easy for me to be on your side. Oh, yes, you're, you're amazing. They're not, and they're, they're jealous. It's so easy for us to do this, like, Sigma male grind set that you see these cringy fuckers talk about on YouTube. Like, oh, yeah, be on your purpose, all this shit, bro. You're probably not that nice to be around. When you get onto self-improvement, it's very easy to get that level of, like, egotistical arrogance where you're not even, like, nice to be around because all you do is fucking talk about self-improvement and you're still around people because there hasn't been, like, enough progress. You're still around people who aren't on self-improvements. You haven't, you know, cultivated the brotherhood, like the group of people who are all on self-improvement, who are all going to the gym. Because let's say you've got arrogance from going to the gym and you know, you go to the gym every single day and like your, your old video game friends find it weird. And then imagine you meet a guy who goes to the gym as much as you. This is common sense, but is he gonna find it weird that you go to the gym a lot? Well, no, of course not. Now you've met someone who's on your wavelength. When you make progress, especially at the start of your self-improvement journey, when you get like noob gains in everything you do, of course, there's gonna be like a big difference between you and the people that you start with and you can stay around them if you want maybe they're really really good people maybe you're just not compatible anymore one of the trickiest parts with your self-improvement is that when you make enough progress you might not be compatible you might not be able to be friends with the people who haven't been making progress in their lives if they've been making progress they're not officially on self-improvement you know some people don't need to like necessarily be like fully you know like self-improvement watching Hamza's videos thinking about Adonis they're like watching uh, Ice Cold GP a lot of people don't need to do that fair enough but a lot of people are just complacent a lot of people don't even realize that they can make progress progress in their lives, you may simply not be compatible with them anymore. And of course, that's very hard to hear when you're a young person and like, you know, it's the people in your school. So it's like, you're somewhat forced to be around them. But you've heard those quotes that, you know, like it gets lonely at the top and the more successful you get, there's like less people that you relate to. I never liked that mindset of like, oh, you know, well, I'm going to be successful. So there's less friends that I can have because I've always had more of a positive vision, which is, well, okay, I'm going to get successful and I'm going to make friends with successful people. I never want to be lonely. I don't like this idea of like, oh, I'm a lone wolf and I'm going to get successful, bro. There's a lot of people who are successful. There's a lot of people who go to the gym. Like it's really important to them. There's a lot of people with successful businesses, YouTube channels, whatever you want. There's a lot of people who meditate and do gratitude journaling. There's more than enough friends out here for us. We just need to find the right people. And he said, the girls that loved me when I was skinny are gone now. I would doubt that these girls who loved you just suddenly stopped loving you because you gained muscle. So you wrote, oh, when I was skinny. And so you're starting to think, wait, self-improvement is the problem. My life was easier and it was better and I was more socially connected connected before I gained muscle. But it's probably not that, oh, you made a positive impact in your life and now these people don't want to be friends with you. These girls aren't attracted to you. It's probably more that your personality may have changed for the worse since you've gotten onto self-improvement, especially for the people, again, that you're not compatible with. And the final part of this message that this guy said, but I will continue, I fell in love with the gym. And that's really where he gets my respect. He's a young man who's in school and he's struggling. Of course, he's going to be going through all those like issues that young men in schools go through like loneliness and social isolation and you know that constant like importance of like the social hierarchy and you know popularity he right now believes the issue is that he went to the gym and built the physique and he's going to continue it just because he really loves it which is a very beautiful thing of course we don't want him to feel like his life has gotten worse from the gym but the fact that he's going to continue with dedication is very admirable what would you say to this guy because chances are you might need to take your own advice too and Honestly, I need to take I need to take your advice. I need to take my own advice. I need to take everyone, bro. Get me on a call with Ryan Holiday ASAP. Because for me personally, I am so extremely prone to being arrogant and being egotistical. I, I'm like literally like as 
egotistical as one may be, especially like, you know, my inside sort of like deep dark desires and like, you know, my own brain. I don't really show that much of it these days, you know, like probably still a good amount, but like I really do try to like, you know, dial it down. I'm really trying to be aware of that because it's, it's the truth. I know I said this, but it's, it's so much the truth that if you have felt like you've been at the bottom of your classroom and, you know, around the guys around you, you feel like you've been in the bottom 80% of guys and you suddenly get into the top 20%, bro, of course you're naturally going to be arrogant. This reminds me of when I was in university and and at about the second year of university, I remember that I downloaded Tinder. You know, I would constantly download and delete and whatever and downloaded Tinder, updated these pictures. And usually I was used to what? Like getting like five matches per day. You know, I lived in a city, so five matches. That's like a good amount for like guys. And of course, like some guys get way more, some guys get literally zero, but like it was a very like okay amount, you know, five per day. I remember I downloaded Tinder, updated my pictures. So I was in second year of uni. I, had, like, I was kind of lean. I had like abs. I'm kind of lean right now as well. You can't see, but. I'm bloated as well, but I remember updating the pictures and like literally within a day or like half a day getting like 20 matches and already had, you know, been reading the red pill and stuff. And I literally felt the moment that I entered like the top 20% of men. So what do you think happened to my personality? Did I just suddenly get so humble? You know, I, I worked so hard to get here. Am I suddenly just going to be like, yep, you know, like, uh, let's talk about climate change. Or am I going to be like, yep, I'm the best guy ever. I'm fucking sick. I started as like a little virgin video gamer a year ago. I lost my virginity literally like 13 months ago. My body count in like the double digits. I'm, I'm such a sick guy. I'm going to parties. Girls are liking me. Girls are kissing me in clubs. Girls are like literally touching my dick and like jacking me off in clubs and stuff, bro. I did some crazy shit. How do you think I would have talked? How do you think I would have like felt about myself having started from like down there to now feeling objectively, maybe not, but feeling like I was like up here right at the top of the best guys. That's because I wasn't on self-improvement then. I was on like the red pill. I was on weightlifting and building muscle and getting better at speaking to girls, pick up social skills. I was doing that, but real self-improvement, the holistic self-improvement message that comes from Adonis himself focuses on improving all of the pillars of your life and it's those invisible things like the skill of humility that is Adonis's second principle of life humility humility I know it sounds a bit weird because it sounds a bit like humiliated and we don't want to be humiliated but humility is like the skill of knowing that there is more to learn that you aren't there just yet that there's someone who's in front of you and you could learn from them it's being humble and you gain so much more growth like that. So of course, if you're watching this, if you've been watching a bunch of my videos, if you've been watching like so much self-improvement content, you've been implementing it and you feel so great about yourself, feel good about yourself 100%. This is like literally like I could give you any advice right now, bro. Being on this path, this trajectory, this journey is like the best thing that I could think that you could do as a young man. But make sure you're hitting life from all angles and you're not just limiting yourself to just like the discipline act of like weightlifting and making gains. Like it seems like this young man did. Make sure no matter how old you are, cause I know this stuff sounds kind of like sophisticated and mature. Make sure you're doing those like character self-improvement traits. Make sure you're literally reading a book on humility. Make sure you're, you're meditating. I know meditation seems weird. Make sure you're journaling. I know journaling seems gay. Make sure you're doing those things because quite frankly, you're not special if you build the body, bro. There's a lot of athletes with a good body. There's a lot of guys who've been going to the gym for a while. There's a lot of guys with money. Money. There's a lot of guys with the body and money, but I'm telling you right now, there are not many guys who bring the entire package. There are not many guys who have lived literally, there are not many guys who have literally been meditating and doing gratitude journaling. If you want to have a wife in the future and you tell her, I'm grateful for meeting you, bro, no woman has ever heard that from someone. You go tell your future wife, like, I'm grateful for meeting you today. No, like, no man speaks like that. No man gets like a fucking notepad and writes what he's grateful for. And then if he has wrote down about anyone, sends them a message and I'm grateful for you. No man does that stuff. Then that coupled with money, coupled with the physique, coupled with confidence, now you're getting special. And the interesting part is that when you have done self-improvement the holistic way, you don't feel very arrogant about it because you have that humility. I hope that the young man who sent me this message has watched this video and if he has, if you're a loyal cult member, go down to the comments and maybe just write him some like words of encouragement. I would like, I'd love to be able to kind of tell you his like Instagram name so you could like message him, but of course it's like kind of like confidential stuff, so I won't do that. But maybe he will see like this video in the comments below. You can subscribe to our channel if you want to. Welcome to the cult. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.